Okay, so this is what I know, know about coaching for sure. Coaching is a build up exercise. It's not a tear down exercise. Anytime someone says that they are coaching you and they are literally deconstructing you, they are not coaching you for any good. What they are trying to do is to deconstruct you and remold you into something that they can tolerate, into something that they can control, and into something that they think is more appropriate for their space than who you are. So I, I just wanted to share that because I think about um, all the people who have ever told me I was defensive. And um, I spent my late teens and my early 20s trying to figure out, oh my gosh, why am I so defensive? Because all these people are telling me I'm defensive, I'm defensive. And um, I'm trying to, you know, basically not respond when people gave me criticism. Um, and by the way, that, that, that guy that uh, terminated me, he gave, the reason he gave was that I can't take criticism. While he's literally calling me names, I can't take criticism. Okay, dude. Um, but anyway, um, in my early years, I actually took the criticism and tried to change according to what people were telling me about myself. And it didn't make sense to me. It didn't make body sense, spirit sense, mind sense, emotional sense. It made no sense whatsoever. And so when I realized that the over the years, you know, we have this perspective when we look back. Over the years, what I realized is that the people who have told me that I'm too defensive are the people who were looking for ways to, def uh, to control me. And what they call too defensive was me telling them, no, I don't agree with your assessment of who I am. That was too defensive for them. Oh, LaShonda, you know, you're stupid. No, I'm not. Oh, LaShonda, you're slow. No, I'm not. Oh, LaShonda, you know, you'll never amount to anything. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> you know, oh, LaShonda, you know, X, Y, Z. You know, um, oh, LaShonda, you're not enough, you know. Uh, no, I'm, I'm plenty enough, right? So it was all the, oh, well, why are you so defensive? I'm just giving you some constructive criticism. But that wasn't constructive. That in no way built me up. That in no way made me feel better about a process, you know. But what, what I know about coaching is that um, when I started high school, I had never touched a basketball. And I wanted to start playing basketball. So I went and joined a uh, girls basketball team. At the time, they had a freshman team. And um, I was clumsy. My, th this is what my aunt told me all the time. Oh, you're so clumsy. I don't know how you're going to be on the team and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I, internal I literally internalized all the negative words she told me about myself. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to be the worst person on the team. And um, I think for the first season... I did internalize and act out all the clumsiness that people had told me all, all my life that I was. But the beauty of me becoming an all-star and co-captain of the girls varsity team by junior year, or senior year, I was all-star junior year, co-captain senior year, um, is that my coach didn't see me as clumsy. My coach was not telling me, oh, LaShonda, those long limbs are never going to accomplish what I need them to accomplish for this game. My coach took what everybody else said about me, and he was one who told me to set that aside. I don't need you thinking about what the people on the sidelines are thinking about you or saying about you. I don't need you looking into the bleachers. I need you looking at me. I need you to hear my voice, and this is what I'm telling you to do. And if you listen to my voice, I will get you to that basket. And boy, did I listen to his voice. I had three great coaches in high school. Uh, coach Gossie was the senior coach. He was the um, senior coach. And I can't remember my assistant coach, um, but there was another assistant coach, Mr. Griffin, and he ended up being the senior coach after some years of the, men, uh, of the boys basketball team. But between Gossie, um, Mr. Griffin, and the other coach who did junior varsity, girls junior JV, um, they made me an all-star. I mean, I, I, so that's, that's something that's standing out to me about coaches. So this man that, uh, you know, terminated me and he started the conversation with how he was coaching me, but he was literally um, demoralizing me. Um, and I'm looking at him like, I know coaching. <laughs> I've known coaching for a long time, for 30 years of my life. Um, I've had some good teachers in business and sports and at, at work and school. I've had some excellent teachers. Just because you think you're a coach doesn't mean that you're a coach. And just because you use that word doesn't mean that I'm going to listen to you. 
and internalize what you're telling me. Um, so I just want to share with you all that um, when people are speaking to you, they're literally speaking into you and it's for you to sift through their words and to sift through their intentions and to sift through what you what you allow to um, seep into your being, into your mind, into your spirit, into your soul. Because everything that you allow to pour into you is going to manifest in your body. Everything is going to manifest in your body.